Kia ora, my name's Leo. I'm going to tell you why I am the best contender for the RMV protege position. The partying has always come pretty naturally for me. I've always had plenty of practice. I've always been that guy, you know, inviting people over and, and organising things. Now I'm the director of my own company called No Ordinary Moment. And we've thrown parties all over New Zealand. And I've had a pretty, pretty amazing couple of years uh, all over Aotearoa, Australia, the Pacific Islands and South America. Just having a really good time and meeting amazing people. All this experience has taught me some really crucial lessons about the events industry and, and business and promotion and just dealing with different types of people. You soon develop a sixth sense about who is doing this for the love and, and the genuine people and then the people that are in it for kind of the wrong reasons, you know. And I really like to think that I'm in it for the right reasons. Uh, a little bit about me, I'm a dubstep producer and a DJ. You're actually in my studio right now. I'm really huge on music. I am a firm believer that all different genres of music have a specific time and a place and I'm aware that the music that I play is, is more specific to say quite quite dark, heavy, loud clubs. But I really appreciate, you know, the black seeds on a sunny day and, and I'm dancing. The time and place that Rhythm and Minds has created, I feel there's so much more scope to grow and I really want to be a part of the evolution of that festival. The reason why I deserve the RMV protege position is because we share the same goal. I want to party, I want to meet awesome people, and I want to provide an outlet for all of these amazing creative New Zealanders. And on top of that, I kind of want to showcase to the world how amazing and dope our country is. And what better way to do that than like dancing on grass as the sun comes up, right next to the international dateline, no less. I think it's pretty cool that we're the first place to see the sun as well. I've also done a lot of market research. I've been to nearly every festival my generation has experienced. Such as Sound Splash, Little Wee, Exair, Homegrown, Parihaka Peace Festival, Fat 07, and Never Mind. Big Day Out, Live My Minds, One Love, Somerset, Cuba Street Carnival, Explore. I even went to Sweetwaters. From all this, I know what's important at a music festival and things just really simple things like good vibes, clean toilets, <laughs> hot shower maybe. <laughs> Um, you know, and a really a, a safe and fun atmosphere are, are, really, are just priceless. I'm currently doing an internship with the Wellington City Council with the events team there, working on the Rugby World Cup, World World Arts, the Wellington City Fireworks Show, a music festival called Gardens Magic, which runs for a month long. It's really interesting. And also the New Zealand launch of New Zealand's first ever electric car. So hopefully I've conveyed my passion for music and people and partying and pushed my credentials as an events manager, highlighted my short but colourful career enough for you to pick up this link. <laughs> because we both know that 2010-11 is going to be the best summer ever. <laughs> <laughs>